So we're actually selling the stories live in the UK. It's Simon from All Power. He's come over to visit us from South Africa. Um, we were just talking as we were walking from, from the hotel to the show, and we were talking about RCDs and earth bonding. And, and, and some people don't quite understand, and the reason, you know, one of the reasons why um, you, you actually have an earth neutral bond is, is really to change the classification of an inverter. Because when an inverter is off grid, most inverters' output is a class two. Um, and then by putting, so both outputs are the same potential. Um, by putting a, a, an earth neutral bond, and it, it can go between L1 or L2, it doesn't matter because you need a connection. Making that bond gives it a reference to, to, to ground, one of, one of the conductors, and that changes the classification to class one. Plus one yeah. yeah, so it's so a most refrigerated. So, so how, do you, how do you do about it in South Africa? So in South Africa, most of the guys, uh, legally, they, 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 they ask, they, the ECA is asking for a, a contact or earth, earth bond relay. Um, we have had a, a few instances, I'm not saying that it's a contact issues and that, but we've, we've picked up quite a few issues with it with nuisance chipping. So it is a little bit of a nuisance doing it that way. And the guys do prefer to permanently bond it in some instances, but legally the regs are asking for the, 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 the so, earth bond relay. So if you connect it directly to the mains and use the mains present or not present, then that can cause nuisance tripping because it can trip an upstream RCD. Yeah. Uh, because of the speed of the contact and various things. Whereas on the inverters, on the older inverters, we had an output, and, and they all have it, and whether you use it, and a lot of the newer inverters have actually got a neutral bond built in. But there has to be a, a very slight delay uh, from when it comes on for the bond to be made, so the, the inverter will be connected to the grid, make the bond, disconnect, you have to have that delay so before it disconnects it breaks so there has to be a very very quick very short delay it's even milliseconds because you can't have to get because it can trip an upstream rcd i uh, think it's also important to, for the south african market what a lot of the guys are doing is they will use uh, either relays or contactors and they're putting it onto a normally when when escom fails and there's no voltage going to the coil it's closing and then it's it's creating that so there's no delays it's mm -hmm. all a, a, a split second uh, yeah very, that, very that's, fast. that's not always so clever and it can cause false tree uses stripping um, so you, that that always is a problem I suppose if you're completely off grid then you can do a permanent bond, permanent bond yeah. um, and it's if you connect a grid it would cause a problem and that's really to do with, it, with the, the classification some people don't do it but that means then you're outputting a class 2 output and so your refrigerator has you know, which is metal is a class 1 has no protection and you, you, you can technically get executed from it or your iron and this is a class <laughs> class one product but if everything in the house is class two double insulated then and you marked every socket is class two and then you wouldn't have that issue um but it's, it's it is quite it is quite an important thing you know something else we were just talking about we're coming up is rcds residual current devices and uh, one thing i've seen happen um, i've seen it in the uk i don't know whether you guys have seen it in south africa whereas people got a couple of inverters in parallel and they'll connect each inverter to a separate rcd okay, separate RCD and, and, instead and of the one the yes. because you know your power can come in one you're going to get an imbalance so how do you how do you guys do it so what we do is if for instance if you've got four eight kilowatts as an example or 50s we would bring everything to each each to their own um circuit breakers and then we combine it to the main breaker but with one cert protector, not not one turn inverter. It's one common. So this is yeah, you, so these guys really know their business. We, we, I think a lot of it now is that yeah, I'm going to get I'm going to get Simon to start doing training videos in South Africa as well because you know these guys know this stuff. It's not all about just saying things are pretty or whatever, but it's, it's really we need to help and give you know involve and try and look at how, ex, your experience because you are an extremely experienced installer. Yeah, I think it's also one of our benefits is, is being with Sunsync for over eight years already. One of the first to import Sunsync into yeah. South Africa has helped. And, yeah, and, and, the path, <laughs> uh, yeah, and the path with Sunsync has been great. And I think that it, it shows in South Africa the, the impact that Sunsync has. It's if, if, if not 80% or more than that of the market, everyone knows Sunsync. It's a brand that's out there. It's done so well. And, and we've got thousands of inverters out there, no issues. And it's just a, a brilliant product that's changed our whole company. And I think the whole of South African solar and put it in a, in a great, uh, a great light. I, pre I really appreciate it. And I think it's just, you know, we, we, we don't sort of sit there and making lots and lots of money. Most of our funds, we reinvest because by the same as you guys, you invest it in stock. Um, we, we 
know, we were, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about different things and cars and all that. Yeah. I drive a second-hand BMW. And, and I know your dad will only buy a second-hand car. Yeah, I don't even have a vehicle. I use a work, a work <laughs> car now and then when I need one. So, but, but it's important to reinvest and get the. It, we're, we're going through. A, we're spending a lot of money on R and D and investing in stock. You guys spend a few got a lot of stock and to make sure that when people come there, they've got the, the right item. They can they can get it. I think it's also in, in the market, uh, being, being, so being from South Africa, coming here to the UK and seeing the operation you've got, I don't think a lot of people back home realize the, the scale that Sunsync has gone and, and what they're comp uh, competing with here in the UK, taking over the UK market is a very, uh, I, I'm surprised myself at the scale that you've grown to here in the UK, leading here at the solo show. And, and basically running all the competition out the water. <laughs> well, we just, we're just we nothing special. We're not salesmen. We're a bunch of engineers like you guys. You know, we're, we're engineers. I, I, I'm an industrial electrician. And I think within Sunsync, 80% of our staff are engineers. And we've got a few marketing or salespeople and some, I call bean counters to manage it all. But that's not the fun bit. Yeah, I, I hate that side of it. Yeah, I just, it, 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 engineering side. You know, you, I get a kick out when you're developing a new product and you see it into production. And that's that's the best bit. That's the that is the best because you know it's my hobby. Yeah. You know, it's, it, you know, people think it's not just a it's not just a work thing. It's a hobby thing. But I know you, you, you guys are the same, really. Well, yeah, we've it's, it's through, through the years. You, you it's a passion. Yeah. It's a passion you develop. It doesn't become uh, margins that uh, these days are so low that it's it's not about trying to make the the extra money is about keeping the, the close with family that you've got together, the, all the staff, everyone going, being able to develop something going forward. It's a long term thing, and it's it's just amazing being part of the Sunsync family. And, but also having you, you, you get certain elements of customers, the same as we do. You get loyalty of customers because you want to work together, and you want to work with your customers as well as as we're partners in business. But we also want to work with customers as well, and to make sure you know that they're happy and their end customers are happy. You know, you, you don't want to you know, ups, uh, upset customers. Is exactly. Good. I, long term. I, I think you know yourself. Sometimes you've got to take the knock to make sure the customers happy. So you um, guys, you guys have been going like like we, we we've been going for twenty five nineteen ninety eight. Uh, so and our, our, the first Sunsync inverter was was twenty years ago, twenty years ago. And so people realise. And you guys, you guys have been going forever. Well, my dad, we actually started manufacturing solar water pumps in, or well, my father did in 1987. He's lovely. And, and since then, we've just done solar. I've joined the company uh, 16 years ago. Wow. And from there, I think it was eight years after that, eight, eight years ago when I got hold of you and we yeah. started doing business with Sunsink. And since then, we've moved from the irrigation and, and solar pumping sector. Still doing that, but very much into the power and, and, a load shedding scenarios, uh, grid tires and all of that, which has been great. And something like I said, it's changed. And it's also everything. having the stability of businesses like your business. We're very old businesses. We're not new businesses. Um, we see so many people just coming in try to buy, make a quick buck or whatever uh, but if you try to be for the, you're in for the long haul you've been, our business been going a long long time you've been you've been going longer than us yeah I think God uh, looking at back over the years and the things that's happened but you, you, it's I think that's really important and you, you're, you're you're a family business we're a family business so I think you two, your, your brother and your sister My brother and sister I have, I have two sons and a daughter on the business and we were, we were laughing so this Sunday Sunday lunch or whatever we have a you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge business discussion I've been and you said exactly the same I, I, I think as we were, we were chatting uh, your wife has to be the mediator at the table she's the referee my, my mom is the same when we yeah. have for a Sunday dinner yeah. she's the referee yeah. amongst yeah. all the solo yeah. conversations it's, it's brilliant <laughs> listen thanks for attending the show Perfect. really appreciate it thank you totally supporting you guys and you know I think in the next 12 months, we're going to do something amazing. We've got loads and loads and loads of new stuff. You know, we're, we're talking with the Cure and all the other stuff, because I think, I think this is good. Yeah, you see the Cure behind him, we're talking about, these guys are going to be launching soon. It, there's a lot going on. It's going to be amazing. I know load shedding dropped or finished. But I tell you what, I, I, I have a side bet with you. I'll bet you a pint of beer that within a year or so, load shedding will be back. And, and, and also, not just in South Africa, it's going to affect many countries, many Western countries, because of the tsunami of EVs that are coming. You've not seen it yet. You've hardly seen no, the EVs. Few, but the, the energy that's needed for the EVs, is going to soak up massive demand. The UK's got the same problem. USA's got the same problem. So it's going to be interesting. No, we, I still feel we're still at the starting point in solar. Yeah. We, we, we've got a long way to go. It's still going to get incredible. And as we talk now, I saw this morning when I woke up, 
that the, the Eskom is running on generators again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's prices are getting sky high in South Africa. That's one of the problems. But uh, in South Africa, anything can happen. Between today and tomorrow, there could be a load shedding without knowing. So you've got to be really prepared with stock to be able to help the clients and service them. And, and backup is the main important a, a, thing. A burning diesel is not good. And the, the other thing is, a lot of it is like, you know, we were talking about, if you talk about that, we talk about high density batteries. And, you know, people, how do you, you know, these super high density batteries, I've done quite a few videos on this. And I, I've got a bit of a beam of bonnet because um, I, I, people say, oh, well, we can get, you know, I don't know, a gazillion megawatts into a 24 container. Of would be sensible, five megawatts I've seen into a 24 container. How are you going to ever service that product? Yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're an engineer. If you've got a five, you, you've got a battery that weighs two ton, you're in 2,000 miles, 1,000 miles from anywhere, and it <laughs> fails, what are you going to do? I think, I think I know where you're going with that one because we've had the same issues in South Africa already. And to get crane trucks and, and all of these, it's a huge mission. The, the new products that, I don't know if it's been launched yet, but I think there's some surprises with the bigger sensing batteries coming through. Uh, with the, with the, the rack mounts and, yeah. and, that, and it's going to be a, a, a great thing for the containers. You can slide them out if you have an issue, you can repair them. You can even repair the things on site if you've got a sensing technician with you, which is, is, is quite an easy thing going forward. Um, but I think going forward, there's a lot of surprises from Sunsync that's going to be launched. Watch, watch this space. Watch this space on the high high power inverters. The, the sort of you know we, 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 we're, we're doing things and we're going to have one and two megawatt inverter, high frequency, super duper efficient, totally available. We're going to something we're going to assemble and probably assembled in South Africa. This is, we're looking You're to telling them too many Africa. secrets now, Keith. Yeah, I don't take too many secrets. Watch this space. It's coming. Listen, thanks for following. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Thank you Simon. Thanks for everything. And good luck. Cheers. Cheers.